again guys, welcome back to my channel. My today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the 1.3 inch OLED LCD 128 by 64. First, these are the materials that we needed. We have four pieces male to male jumper wire. We have 1.3 inch OLED LCD. Then we have Arduino Uno module and the Arduino Uno connector. Then let us discuss first the four pin of the OLED. First we have ground pin. For ground supply, we have BCC for positive supply. We have SCL for the clock line. Then we have SDA for data line. Then let us connect now the 1.3 inch OLED to our Arduino Uno. First, set up first the ground pin. Okay. Connect to the ground using the black jumper wires. Then second is connect the BCC to the positive using the red jumper wires. Then we have SCL for clock line. Then we connect it to analog input. 5 or A5 then plus the color green the SDA connect it to the analog pin number 4 or A4 okay then after we set up the connection of OLED into the Arduino Uno then we connect the Arduino connector Okay, then we connect this to our computer or laptop. After we connect the Arduino connector to our computer, let us check first the connection by clicking my computer, go to manage, then device manager and look the communication port used by the Arduino if properly connected. Then, next let us open the Arduino Uno Integrated Development Environment or IDE. Next, let's go to, let's click sketch, then go to include libraries, then click manage libraries. Okay, let's take uh, let's wait for a while while updating the list of the Arduino IDE okay after the updating okay just simply search the file the libraries of u8 g2 libraries. Okay, then after the searching, look for the UHG2 by Oliver, then click install. After the installation, uh, let us check if the libraries is properly installed by uh, looking for include libraries then money then look for UHG2 contributed libraries then let us open uh, some example in UHG2 libraries by clicking open then click the libraries then go to documents then look for the Arduino folder then click the libraries folder and look for the UHG2 file 
folder, then look for the example. Okay, there's a lot of example, okay, uh, to study. Then, I choose U8 by 8 for uh, simple displaying the hello world. Okay, then by clicking hello world. Okay, then this is the program created by the httpgithub.com on cruise u 8 g 2 This is the uh, website where you can download the libraries. Okay, then under that, we have a lot of uh, constructor list. Disable constructor list depend on the spe specification of your uh, 1.3 OLED that display. Then let's look for the uh, program to display a simple hello world to our OLED screen. Okay, then this is the uh, simple program to display the hello world in OLED 1.3. Then let us uh, check, verify first if this program encountered an error. Okay, then as you can see, this program encountered an error. Okay, said U8 by 8 was not declared in this scope. Okay, if you encounter this error, you need to enable one of these, uh, one of the constructor list, okay, based on your spe uh, specification of the OLED. Okay, my specification of my OLED, I enable this uh, part. Okay, to remove that encountered problem. Okay, then uh, let us check if this uh, program encountered an error by verifying this again. Okay, then since I enable this uh, constructor, our program Okay, does not encountered any error. Then we can now upload this uh, simple program displaying hello world to our Arduino Uno module by clicking upload. Okay, guys, as you can see on the screen, the string hello world display in 1.3 OLED LCD. Okay, then uh, let's uh, try to experiment this uh, program. Okay, uh, this first value is for the row and this value for the column okay let us change this okay uh, let us change first the uh, row okay okay then as you can see the allow word move to space or two rows from uh, left to Right. Okay. Then this value is for the uh, row. Okay. Uh, for sorry, for the column. Okay. Then let us try the second value. This second value is for the row. Okay. Uh, let uh, let us try to change into three. Okay. Then let us upload. Okay, then as you can see, the allow word move three rows or three space from top to bottom. Okay, then this is the column and this is the row. Okay, then this is the string to display. Let us change this uh, string. Okay, this. Okay, let's go back this into zero. Okay, then let us copy to create another uh, string display. Okay, then. Okay, then let us change the row. Okay, then let us try what happened to this uh, 
uh, program okay then okay then let us upload okay guys as you can see all all of this string display uh, in our 1.3 OLED display then we have a uh, start at column 3 then we have a uh, row 0 row 1 row 2 row 3 and row 4 okay guys then if you learn to this video okay don't forget to like and subscribe and push the notification button for some updates and thank you for watching